bam. Right, so George and I were sat in the car and we're enjoying our, enjoying our vanity mirrors for a bit of additional lighting. We are going to test out the ADB. Now, George doesn't watch my video yet, so he doesn't know what we're testing even, which is the adaptive driving beam. So this is where we're going to put the headlights on, on auto. They should go on main beam, and as a car comes along, it should just in the local area, George, by witchcraft and wizardry, well, actually not using the camera hitting up behind there, it should take out the bit. So we can drive on full beam, but it'll just blank the bit where the person's coming along so they shouldn't flash their lights at us. Um, it is only going to come on at, I've forgotten, I think it's like 25 miles an hour. So we'll get driving. We have got the dash cam. We've got the dash cam Garmin Mini up there. We've got the Land Rover one up there. We'll see what footage we get. Let's, let's go. Let's, let's turn the music off. Let's crank up and let's get going. So it shouldn't kick in till we get to 30 miles an hour. So the headlight here is on auto, so you can see here, George. So it's now dark. Um, right, so let's see. It should. It should stay on. Well, let's turn those interior lights off. You got those? Yeah. So we can see we're on dip beam. Now, one cool thing about this car is the way it fades up for main, for main beam. So 12, here we go. Let's not speed in the village. So it is definitely on dip beam, it's on auto. Now, we haven't got the blue, when we go on main beam, we'll be interested to see if that blue light comes on. So we can go up here, 27, 28, 29, 30, it still hasn't come on. I wonder if it's done that thing where it's actually 32 where it goes on. 33, now there are street lights. Now it may not go on where there's street lights. So let's have a look, wait till we get out of the edge here. Street lights will go away. We've got another car coming. Slow down. Ooh. Right, here we go. We've got an open limit sign up here. So we should. Uh, right, main beams come on. So what speed are we doing? We're doing over 30. The street lights have stopped. So you can see now we've got the main beam on there, George. Okay, now it should, as we drive along, if something's coming the other way, it should automatically detect them and we should see the areas go go dark so at the moment we can see we've got a fairly good lighting splay right how's that looking on the camera john very bright very good very bright very good so we got that now let's see if we see another car right now it's seen ah now can you see it's taken segments so we're still on main beam the blue light is still on the dashboard and we should see as he goes past it should did you see that fading nah. It's it. There, there is a bit, definitely. It, because it takes, it's, it's split yeah. the beam into eight segments. And it's, so let's have a look as we drive along again. Apparently, to test this the best way, you need to be driving it. In fact, let's go this way. Right, it's cut out again because we're going slow. And we don't need main beam on slow. So let's see when it cuts in again. So 19, 20, 23, 20, there you go. It comes in at 30. So it's coming on. I know, is it taking a bit of the beam out on that? It did take a bit. I think it thought that sign was another car. It took it out and then it's come back again. Right, let's have a look. So we're looking at the spread of light all the way across. And as we see another car, we're looking where they're at. Right. So here's another car, right. It's, can you see the dark patches? It's gone douche, douche, douche. It's, and no one's flashed me yet. Can you see just where the car is? It's taken it out. Yeah. And then he passes, and we should see it come back again. Yeah. That, that, that was, you can see that on the camera good. Really? Yeah. Cool. Right, so let's keep going. Let's make sure we don't speed. It's a 40 limit. I, you don't see when the car's coming, but you see it when the car's gone, and you see it come back. Yeah. But you, you see how the, now we can see the road is lit. We can see the road is white. But you watch, there'll be a shadow as the car approaches. If we see another car, it'll approach and it'll be black in front of it. There you go, it's not got it yet. That's impressive. That is impressive, isn't it? And also, if we go up behind a car, it should also do a similar effect. We like safety features. Is this a, is this a safety definitely feature? Definitely, it's what they class as driver assistance. So it's definitely a... You know, because that, this, this should be mandatory in all cars. It, because it, because basically it means the side of the road is, is in main beam. I can clearly see the head. If you struggle night driving, this is a game changer. This technology is awesome. Right, 
we haven't got many cars to test our system out on. We live in rural, ruralville. It's quite, it's still, again, we're looking at all the road there. And can you see it's about from 10 foot in front of me. It's almost like a sort of blue effect. Here we go. Right, doosh, doosh, doosh. And why'd you come back again? Damn. Yeah. And, and they didn't flash us. What I'm looking at is to see whether people flash us. Because if I was driving on main beam on, everyone would be going, oh yeah, and flashing us. We're coming up to a junction. Now it may we may well lose main beam, so as we slow down here for this junction, put my indicator on 20 26. It should there we go. 15 miles an hour. Right, here we go. Now let's see I want to see exactly what speed it can. I reckon it'll say I reckon it'll go on at 32 because I reckon it's this thing. Here we go, we've got another car coming, we can test it. Yeah. Oh it's on, there you go. It's come out, so it's cut, it did come on at 30. Sorry, we had another car come. Sorry, right, there we go. So we can. Here he comes. Whoa, look that at that! Dipped that dipped early. That dipped early. You, you can, can see, see that. And it should follow him round a little bit. Right, here we go. Right, so here we go. It's it, you start to see it taking out. Yeah, so, so you see it move there. Yeah, all right, and then it'll move. It's taking it out and it should start to bring some back now. Yeah, it's brought it on the left. And, and then on, on the, the right. right. And it does it all by fading as well. Yes. Yeah, we haven't got any. Right, now one other thing we need to test is apparently as well as the ADB, which is the adaptive driving beam, which is this this main beam, it should do some low beam technology. It should, if we get on the motorway, we'll get upon the 419 up here. If we go on the highway and get up to 70, it should move the headlights forward. So what I'm looking for is where the main beam pattern is on the ground, or the whole headlight beam should move forward. So let's go and try this out on the highway. Right, we'll stop recording now. We'll get onto the highway, the, the A road, and we'll test it. Right, we're on the highway now. Now, we, it's taken out that right-hand section, but we've got a car passing us. So let's see what happens as this car pulls in. Wait for the vision system to pick up its rear lights. I wonder if we can see whether it, it's harder to see what it's doing, isn't it? But because we can't dazzle him, but we, we're not illuminating the back of his car at all. No, we? we've fairly turned it off. A little, but we, I think we've got a bit on the right and the left because look how bright the road signs are. So yeah. we can see how well lit the side of the road is. Right, we're just coming out of the street lights. It's really good with street lights, isn't it, Georgie? It yeah. kills the main beam straight away. So there we go, so it's recognised we're not in street lights, so it's turned it on. Um, it's quite interesting to watch a car on the other side of the carriageway. As that other car passes, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but the, the shadow is, is inches along, you can see it going. Let's watch it again, so it will restore most of the pattern. Right, and as you see the cars pass on the other dude, side. Dude, 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 yeah. You can see it now, it's got that second one now. And oh, yeah, and it's doing him again. So it's really clever the way it does it. It does it well, and the way it fades as well, really nice. Yes. You yes. almost don't see it. Right, George and I were just talking. So obviously we have, as a part of R&D, so we can test and demonstrate this and demonstrate our features and check our accessories with it. We've done this under an R&D remit. Now, Land Rover, if you've bought your car, do not enable, there's no way you can do this upgrade officially through Land Rover. And I think Land Rover are missing a great opportunity because when people see this technology, I think it would be a really good upsell. And obviously Tesla allow us to upgrade our car if there are features we want. For example, if you change your job and you're having to do more night driving, if you take a shift work and you're having to do, you know, there's no point in you changing your car where you could actually change the functionality of your car. You'd be happy to pay for it. But again, that's a discussion that um, hopefully Land Rover are listening to. But in terms of technology, this ADB, Adaptive Driving Beam, is a game changer. What was it not happy with? I don't know. Something was not happy somewhere. We had a beat, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> don't see any warning messages. Right. So there we go. So hopefully you can see it. I don't know what it's looking like on the camera. George is you saying, can. watch it again. Once it's on the, let's have one last check. You can see it moving across as this car comes on the other carriageway. Yeah. There we go. There you go. Yeah. So it, 
ears and you can still see I've got a main beam. And then it, it comes, comes up. Oh, no, staying back. Yeah, douche, douche, douche. Yeah, we've got the other cars in front. It is awesome. And then it fills it in. It just works out. Some technology on cars doesn't... This is one of those things that's definitely working as it should, isn't it? No yeah. one's flashed us. No one has flashed us at all. This is awesome. Right, we're heading back home again now. You can see we're following this car. We'll get up closer to him and see if we can... Um, see if we can see the area as we get closer to it. Oh, he's racing away, George. Um, oh, there we go. We can see it moving. It's slowing down now. And as you go around the corner, it's interesting as well because it's got to cope with all of that. And then it'll give me, give me full beam back. Oh, but there's someone coming. What? Right. Another thing George and I were just talking about off camera there was, he was saying, like, have you uploaded software to Neighbor to do this? Well, actually, no. All we've done is change some flags in the software so all the software is already in the car our model s base model car all the software and all the computational power is already there it's literally just the flag changing and some settings just to enable the menus we haven't inserted a usb or downloaded a whole patch or anything it literally is just changing some configuration settings and some menu settings but there we go on that Actually, this, this is really good. So, one thing, if you are specking a new Defender or a new Land Rover Jaguar and you do have the option to have the Matrix LED, I would say do it. You know, if you can do it because it is, it's technology that works. It just works as you want it to. It's really good. Right, there we go. Quick demo of ADB, Advanced Driving Beam.